In this video we go to the hardcore part of the dark ether and we try to finish up our classified schematics. Drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel as well, let's get a word from our sponsor and enjoy. Or GM, they basically go inside game and unlock the things you don't want to unlock or it's too big of a grind for you, they go in and do it for you. So say you're going out of town and you still want to grind on your account, then they'll actually do it for you. I definitely recommend them, they are trusted and safe. Link in description, code SPAZO for 5% off. All right, so hopefully today we can finish up the schematics that we got to unlock inside of the Dark Aether. Now, I brought in a ton of items, uh, I, <laughs> some very good items, I should say, because I want to make sure that I can do this successfully and not have any issues. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the Pack-a-Punch on there with a Legendary, and then we're going to be doing the Golden Armor Plate acquisition, and then the Ether Blade case, Speed Cola Can. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw the rest of our perks on just to help us out. And then we have the Elder Sigil, which is going to be putting us into the hardcore mode, which is the only way to get the schematics. Now, you can go in and you can do the other one, and that'll farm acquisitions. I'm going to make a video about, like, the best farm for acquisitions inside of that zone and, like, the easiest way for a solo player to do it. So drop a like if you have it and subscribe to the channel if you guys do want to see that because uh, I basically could farm so many in an hour, it's crazy. So uh, I'll show you guys that. But okay, we're gonna head to the teleporter. I also wanna try and get a guide out and a solo strategy for the red worm Easter egg, if you guys know what that is. It's to get like the scorcher case, I believe you can get, or the scorcher schematic, I believe you can get the flawless crystal and then the legendary ether tool from it too. I'm not sure, but it's definitely a lot harder doing that solo. So I'll try my best to get an easy guide out for you guys today. If not, then it'll probably be tomorrow or something like that. Something along the lines of that. But, all right. So we do have a three-plate vest, so all our plates regenerate over time. Um, we have the ether blade. We are doing good, man. So we'll see how good this goes. Uh, how easy it goes. So I don't know if anybody's tried it yet. I have, but the ether blade actually does a lot of damage to the mega abomination. If nobody has tried that, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not going to insta-kill him, but it does, you know, a decent amount. All right, let's make our way to this teddy bear up here. Now, let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think is the best acquisition in the game uh, right now? So, you know, do you guys think the ether blade is one of the best? Do you think the golden plates? The dog bone. I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't really care too much for the dog bone. I'd rather have the other uh, items like the gold armor plate and then the ether blade. Oh, I didn't mean to fall. Ooh, do 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 do. We gotta move. Yeah, I did not mean to fall there. Uh, that hurt us a lot. All right, we need our plates to regen. We can throw a decoy. Let's go ahead and ascend. Help me out a little bit. Pop this. It is still glitched. It's so annoying. Let's go ahead and hit it. Move, move, move. Use that. Sometimes I guess the ether blade should be a little better. I mean, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's very good But like when I threw that right there, I don't know. I think it should should have been a little bit better But it does help for sure Sometimes I'll just wait for it to regen I do have a legendary gun. <laughs> I totally forgot about this gun, dude. Oh my god, but does it not do damage? What the heck? Okay, what's in here? Plates? Let's we'll take them. Okay, we have our ether blade again. We can go ahead and hit this. We do have a self-revive, so if we do go down, I mean, it'll be uh, pretty simple for us to just get back up. Yeah, the golden armor plates, dude, are a lifesaver. The dogs, though. Tell you what. Most annoying things in the game. Alright. Uh, okay, okay. We got it. Throw that. Yeah, the reason I brought this in is because, dude, it's just so good. <laughs> I like how a few seconds ago I was just talking about how it should be better, and then all of a sudden I'm, like, literally saying how good it is. 
Okay, we have 47 seconds. I'm just going to stick it. Because there's no way I can kill that disciple. All right. I didn't realize how bad legendary guns are. Just one or single packed here. Unless it's just this gun that's bad. All right. Uh, another dog bone recipe. We already have the dog bone recipe. Looking for the ether blade recipe. If we can get that. And the other one. All right, let's grab this other contract. This is Outlast. This is going to be a little bit more challenging, but I think we got it, man. That's so cool, the teddy bear. I love it, man. I do. They got to make it a charm. All right, let's go ahead and start this Outlast. Hopefully, we can get one from this. Fingers crossed. But, yeah. I definitely, if you want to farm these acquisitions, it'll just make this so much easier if you're doing this all solo. So much easier. Alright. Now, this is going to take us a little bit. We're just going to throw this knife and kill as many as we can. So we can't no more. Try and survive. So I wonder if you get two acquisitions. Because you can stow this. The uh, blade, you can stow it. I wonder if you can, like, stow it and then re-equip another one and it gives you one right away. And then you re-equip the other one and then it gives you it right away. Like, I wonder if there's, like, a, a way to get around the cooldown. Like, the few seconds that it takes for it to come back in your... Or come back and make it available for use. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Alright, we just finished it. All right, what can we get? Uh, ether blade case, golden armor plans. Nice, dude. That's amazing. All right, we can get out of here. We can go extract. Uh, where is it at? Up here, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got to go up through over here. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Well, that's another schematic done. So they're not really hard solo. Uh, I can show you guys my way of farming the acquisitions and like getting a bunch of ether blade cases and stuff like that Now it's not you know easy. You're not gonna be able to just do it You know very simple. It is a little bit challenging at times, but it definitely is worth it When you're trying to go for these solo, where is the expo? Uh, oh, it's on this side But Yeah, what I was kind of saying is you can stow these and then you can re-equip them. Hold on, I want to see something. If I do that, oh, you can't stow it if it's on cooldown. Okay, that makes sense. All right, that's Axville. We're out, boys. Heck yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know how many you have done so far. And let me know the best strategy you guys have found. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one, boys. I'm out. Peace.